Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notifications if you want to. And you like this video. Um, so today we are looking at the laziest brevet corner. I'm sorry, I haven't posted in like a month now or three months. Weeks. But now I will show you what these brevet corners will look like. Look like. This is what the laziest brevet corners. They have a lot of workers now. And I fed them yesterday, so I couldn't get them on camera. Um, but yeah, these workers are actually a lot of workers. And you can see that a pile right over there, sorry. You can see that egg pile right over there. You can see that egg pile right over there. That's a big, 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 big egg pile. Um, there's also this queen that's, I think, physiogastric. And then the other one's physiogastric too. Um, these, um, so here is a little about them. Lysias Brevicornis are fully claustral. Um, and they they do not need food when they make their nest. This is Brevicornis. Um, some queens are yellow, some queens are brownish, blackish, and and the workers are yellowish, and their head is blackish. Um. So let's just look at them and see how they've been doing. If you want to go see their whole thing of having them for two months, you can go check that other part out. They had larvae. <coughs> they had eggs, but the first time I showed you, they had larvae. I don't know. Purple. Oh, yeah. That is a lot of workers. Is and I and there's more cocoons um, on the way, taking the light off them. Um,
this ant species loves honey. I well, I haven't really tried them out with any other kind of um things. <clears throat> But they really, really love honey. They'll keep going at it. But I think after their next meal, once they get all those big, more eggs, because they're so full of eggs, yeah, um, I think I'm going to give them some protein. The first meal of protein. Okay, so that's an update on the Laceus brevicornis. Tons of eggs, tons of cocoons, tons of workers. Now moving them off the ant table. Back into where they're going to go. gonna see the valentine ants well you you really haven't seen the valentine ants in the in the new ac ant world because now i found it So this is a video for the start of 2022, the start of spring. Spring is very, very good because then ant colonies can be out of hibernation. Speaking of ant colonies, we have this other ant colony that you haven't seen yet. I'm kind of this is trying to get them. It is a Campanades Moda colony. Finally got her first workers. Um they have eaten their first meal. Oh I'm gonna go put some light on them. These are also known as the Western Carpenter Ants. Now, this is their outworld. They also do have one little cocoon um, uh, on the way. But that's their outworld. That's them. I think in the summer they'll have way more workers than this. Because they have a cocoon, a dark, dark cocoon, which I think might hatch today or tomorrow. Then a little larvae, some eggs, and a bigger, and four bigger larvae. Like nine, ten, twelve little larvae. I'm gonna go try to get it. Look at the size of the queen compared to my finger. Okay. 
And then the workers are big too. Queen's kind of covering it, but she's so big. And they're actually in the same test tube that she was founded in. Now this is their sugar, their brown sugar water test tube. So that's one, that one's guarding their carbs. Test tube. Oh, here it goes inside. They have long antenna. And her what? So if you notice, carpenter rats are the very big genus. Oh, there you see a larvae spinning in its cocoon. And under the queen, there's a little darker one. There's the cocoon. See how that big brood of small larvae? Yeah, she finally has her first workers. These first workers have already hardened. And there's one more cocoon on the way. And that was big larvae's one spinning its cocoon energy. In only a few days, the cocoon will hatch, and we'll have six workers on nanitics because the nanitics are the most important ants for the queen. Because without the nanitics, they would die. And so. It's very important for a queen to have nanitics. Because if she doesn't and she has a male, all the male is gonna do is sit around and in the nest and wait for the next month before they're the same genus. And the queen will slowly die. And the male will slowly die because he's not getting fed.
And you can also see her wing scars. Whereas workers don't have wing scars. Um. And as spring comes around, all my colonies are already out of hibernation. And I am pleased to say, even though my Campanaris pentalinicus colony has had a huge, huge loss of workers during hibernation, I'm pleased to say the queen is still alive. She has five workers in a huge egg pile. Huge, like, full of these little, little larvae. And you, you see that ant? That ant is a wild ant. Um, but you can see how small they are compared to carpenter ants. And the carpenter ants are very, very big. And some people might notice that there's these two little strings down on the down, coming down from their mouth. That is actually their other end. Um, they can smell food more better that way. And I am planning on giving them their first taste of honey for a long time because they love honey. But that will be in another video. I don't think anybody would have this much time in their day to watch the whole feeding thing. But I will post another video up soon. Okay, see you soon. Bye, thank you.